Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mel's Mo Media. And today we got something a little bit, a little bit more, let's say, fun in store for you guys. Um, kind of at a little, little lake down here. Had to bring the four wheeler, put the trailer and the kayak. Paris is actually down on her way over that way, and I'm excited. Let's just say we are after a more of a green fish that likes to stay up in the shallows. Just wait and see how it goes. I'm super excited. Hey guys, and welcome, woo, welcome to the lake. And we first got, we got our first green goblin. Nice little guy. Actually, it's the second. Paris had one blow up using some frogs. And we're actually out in some little bit deep water, currently floating into the weeds. Cause it's kind of windy on this side, so we're about to get around the corner. But yeah, we got, we got one for the frying pan, for the frying pan, for the frying pan. Let's go. I got a little live well actually in this thing right underneath here, so it'll work perfect. And what you do is you fill up my little bucket, put water in there for me. Okay, and then I'll, I'll actually explain the live well here we got going after I catch another fish here, or Paris catch another fish. It's currently tied one to one. Both using frog, Paris using a frog, more with like a little plopper on it. These bass, right? Uh, a lot of these anglers, they just love catching them and releasing them. And um, I more call them more like a green carp because I don't think they're very, they're just, a, they're a fun sport fish, but better yet, why not? Why not keep a couple and have some fish tacos after? I don't know, I'm pretty excited. Paris is having fun, so let's get some fish tacos. Slice some of these bad boys up. Bass catching them today. Let's go. Fish on! Guys, and there we go. Another two pounder, pound and a half. It's gonna be a beautiful meal for the family tonight. I already got the soft cells. And I'll actually kind of explain to you guys here if I can get it on my GoPro. So a little thing, and underneath you can fill it up with water and it's actually alive with so. Water's nice and cool in there for them. Put it back together, and boom. I tell you what, nothing like a big old bass, bass feed out here in central Minnesota. Let's go. Well, we just actually got another one. I switched over to the, oh, got another one. Wacky rod. And now we are smacking them. Paris, you want one now? Relaxing. One of these things? Well, yeah, you kind of took my rod. Here, yeah, you come use this and I'll, I'll retie the rod that you have on. There we go. Another one. That one's a little small, but they all eat the same. That's four. Here. Okay, guys, a little update. Kind of got the camera rolling again now. I just caught two. I'm over sw switching over to a wacky worm. GoPro battery's better. And gave Paris my rod. And now I got one on. I'll show you what's doing the damage here. I can't even see it because of the 
boots on. But that is doing the damage. Little pumpkin, the pumpkin spouse. Just toss it out there, slow you up. There he goes. Oh. This is a bath. Woohoo! Oh boy, this is a good one. This is nice. Oh, he stole my wacky worm. Now he's gonna get eaten. Another one. What a beautiful green carp. People are just underestimate these beautiful fish. Live well. Live well. Live well. Ferris, that's what? Five in the live well? Yeah, that's five live well. Yep, five in the live well. So what you do when you hook these things up, these wacky worms, oh, there you can actually see it better what we're using. Kind of like that pumpkin green and orange. Right in the middle, so it floats down nice. Just got your normal hook. And let it jiggle down there. Oh, there was a fish. Got one, Paris. There we go. Another good one for the meal. That makes six for my limit. So I'm actually going to be done keeping fish. Paris can catch whatever she wants. Those are my six. Now we're just going to enjoy. Holy cow, Paris, what'd you catch? Oh, nice. You got weeds all over your hook. You're dragging them through the weeds. My rod's getting caught on you. Oh, nice catch. Put yours in the live well here. Good job. Still alive well down there. Water's nice and cool. They're actually all still alive. But... Perfect. Good job, Paris. Nuts. Oh, <laughs> finger touches, I guess. Okay, guys. Well, what a fun night of fishing. We caught, I think, eight bass. Uh, first one that Paris had fell off. Uh, it was super fun, though. And now we get to be blessed with eating these delicious green carp or baggins as the tournament guy would say and I don't keep fast very often but I was a little hungry for some fish see how they taste the oils already oils are running already and we're gonna have some fish tacos with some beans and we find some bushes baked beans I don't know we'll have, to, we'll have to look but put some hot sauce on it maybe let's do it See how easy it is to clean a bass. We'll start with the big old Billy. Okay, so I, I don't have much experience with cleaning bass, so I'm just gonna start the same way I do normal fish. We got the beans. There's nothing wrong with that. A little, I kind of cut it on accident, a little deep. Bleed a little bit. There's one slab. Buck, that smell good. Meet everyone, this is Buck the cat. <laughs> He's a big fan of bass. Right, Buck? Yeah. Yeah, there you have it. Um, that is the most beautiful bass I've ever seen. Beautiful. Okay. You're just gonna have to te try to teach me how. Bigger is usually kind of easy. Like that? Holy jeez, that's good. Wow, everyone. This is pretty impressive. Paris just did her first fish. Look at that, she did perfect. I've never seen someone do it so good. Maybe, maybe bass are the easiest to catch, easiest to clean, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna taste the best. Maybe the bass guys just don't want us to find out how good they actually taste and they keep them behind our backs. Do you like fish? Do you 
you like bass? Buck likes bass, watch this. He loves bass too. We all love bass. Mmm. So what we're doing here, we got some milk and eggs, and we got some batter, and we are gonna see how they taste. We're gonna go deep fry them. The deep fry's ready, we're gonna get some beans going, get some cheese out, and put it all together in a nice little wrap. A little fish taco. Bass taco. Okay, Paris. First bite of the delicious bass. <laughs> Might have to do it. Let's try that again. I'll actually explain what we got going here first. <laughs> I got a fish taco. I got cheese, <laughs> cheese, lettuce, beans, barbecue sauce, and a beautiful slice of bass on top. So yeah. Mm. Is it's, it, good. it's good though. After it cooled down. Nice. Well, let's dig and enjoy. There you guys have it. Bass is delicious. Keep the bass that you catch if you are hungry or if you need some fish for the freezer. Don't ever keep too much fish, but keep enough that you can eat it up pretty quick within a week or two, I'd say. And enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>